Hey everyone, Duran here again, bringing you the second video in my series on community events for Classic WoW. The event that I'm going to talk about in this video is quite a bit different than the Gurubashi Arena Tournament in my last video. If you missed that video, you can find it on my YouTube channel. The event that I'm going to cover for this video, I'm just going to call World PvP Objectives. World PvP is one of the most popular and exciting aspects of Vanilla WoW, and my idea will hopefully get people organized, invested, and participating in World PvP events. The general idea behind this event is that one person, which could be me with the help of the community, collects ideas for World PvP objectives, and then on a regular schedule uses Twitter or some other social media to announce what the objective is moments before the event is scheduled to take place. My thought is that we could have these PvP events every other week at a time when most people don't normally raid, but would still be online to participate. With that in mind, I was thinking Friday nights or sometime on Saturdays. Obviously, this creates a divide between US and EU, so the easy solution is to separate the two events, send out an objective for European servers at around 8pm their time, and another completely different objective at 8 or 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. So one for the US, one for EU, with different objectives so that it's still a surprise for everyone. The work that I will need to put together for this event is coming up with the objectives. I've already got quite a list going, so I'll share some of those with you in this video, but the other big hurdle that I'll need to get across is community buy-in. It's easy for me to tweet out a world PvP objective, but if that doesn't reach the masses, then the event won't work. That's why I plan to get as many content creators and streamers amped up about this idea so that when the time comes, they either participate or they help to get the message out there. Lucky for me, I think that big world PvP events are some of the most exciting things to watch in WoW, so hopefully that's an easy sell. Another way to get people excited that I've thought of is for each server to keep track of the total victories for each faction for all these events. That could be a thread on the server's forums or a master spreadsheet that I put together and make available to the community. However that gets done, it can include the date of the event, what the objective was, and which faction came out on top. That could lead to a running score for each server, and those numbers could even be pulled to show scores for regions like US and EU, or even show how many of these world PvP objectives each, each faction has won across all classic servers. All that is still a long ways down the road, but in the meantime, here are some of the PvP objectives that I've come up with. If you listen to any of these and think of ways to change them, or if you think of new ideas altogether, let me know. I figure once this gets going, the community will be able to come up with enough ideas to keep things interesting for a long time to come. So anyway, here are some of the ideas. Assign a particular faction leader to kill. So let's say it's Thrall then the Alliance has a set amount of time to kill Thrall, and the Horde just needs to keep them from doing it. That could be 30 minutes, it could be an hour, that's something that's up for debate, so let me know your thoughts. You could have that same objective for any of the different faction leaders. Another objective could be a whole day position. So a place in the world is selected, and either one faction has to take it from the other while they defend, or it's sort of a neutral location, and it's whichever faction can hold it for the longest or for a set amount of time. Some of the places that I've thought of for this include Free Wind Post in A Thousand Needles, the top Griffin Roost in Airy Peak in Hinterlands, Thunder Bluff and Dar Darnassus, obviously. Uh, for neutral location, the Dark Portal in Blasted Lands or Blackrock Mountain. Or for something more interesting, you could pick a Hive in Silithus or Hearthglen, because I think picking an area with elites adds another element to the objective. On, in addition to that, there are specific objectives that I've thought of. Uh, so these are specific tasks for one or both factions to try to accomplish. Uh, the main one that I thought of is Alliance have to kill Rexar and Horde need to protect him. Again, there's a time limit on that that we can decide on. Uh, if the PvP day happens to land on a reset day for Anixia, then maybe uh, the objective is that Horde needs to kill Anixia and Alliance need to stop them from doing it. That might get tricky depending on whether you can corpse run into Anixia's lair, but again, you kind of get the idea where I'm going with that. Another idea could be something where you pick a particular ob objective in major cities, so like Alliance need to kill the bankers in Undercity, so then they have to make the decision of whether to try to breach the front gates or sneak through the tunnels. Another thing you could do is say the Horde needs to breach the gates of Ironforge uh, this could be a shorter time limit, so maybe it's just 30 minutes. So then the Horde have 30 minutes to mass up 
get to Iron Forge and try to get through and maintain or gain control of the area inside the gates of Iron Forge. And you could do a very similar thing with the gates of Orgrimmar. These are just a few of the ideas that I have, and I'm sure you guys all have ideas as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below, or you can message me or tweet at me on Twitter. There are a few logistical things I will need to clear up. Luckily, it won't be anything like the rule book or the organization for the arena tournament, but setting clear standards for how a faction wins each event will be necessary and may require screenshots or even video evidence. As always, if you have ideas, suggestions, or criticisms for this event, let me know. If you have ideas for different events altogether that you'd like to see flushed out, I'd love to take a crack at it. So let me know any ideas that you've heard of or that you've come up with. If you want to stay updated on future videos and any big updates on events that I'm currently working on, you can hit subscribe here on YouTube or you can follow me on Twitter. Again, thanks for watching.